I just arrived to Denver and I ordered room service and this is insane. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Doo -doo -doo. We got a salad. I feel like Emma Chamberlain right now. We got some shrimp and some fries. So I don't think I've ever gotten room service before because I'm Asian. <laughs> My parents be like, that is too expensive. But like, I'm here in Denver. My boyfriend was like, you can get room service because he got this room from his company. And I'm like, bitch, okay. So we got a salad with some shrimp. I don't know why I was feeling healthy. I just was on a plane for like four hours, three hours. So I'm very excited. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to an event with Aave, Coinbase, and a bunch of these crypto companies, but I don't know anybody that's going there, and I'm kind of like, I don't really get social anxiety, but I think I'm getting social anxiety. Like, I'm not going with anybody. My friends are at an event. My boyfriend's at an event. I don't really have anyone to go with, but like, I'm also like, I'm not like that bitch I need someone to go to events, but like, I think today I might just be a little bit anxious, and I don't know where it's coming from. But that's okay. Like, if you're anxious about certain things, I feel like it's normal to be, like, kind of introverted, even if you're an extroverted person naturally. So I'm gonna eat this and then get ready, but maybe we can do makeup and hair together and then hopefully meet someone interesting. Side note, look how cute these mini Tabascos are. Do you see that? I'm literally stealing all of these. You can tell I don't really <laughs> go to nice hotels. So if you guys are wondering, why am I at ETH Denver and what's going on this weekend? So ETH Denver is a conference for crypto projects to hang out and meet up in Denver, Colorado, obviously. And I don't know how to open this fucking Tabasco sauce, but I'm speaking tomorrow about how crypto can be used for climate change and how it can be used for good. So I'm super excited to be a speaker this year. Usually I have friends that come with me, but I'm kind of a lone wolf on this one and we're going solo this time around and that's okay. Oh, the fries are good. Or is anyone like into fries with like heavy salt? Like I think I'm a salt bitch. Mm-hmm. So, I just finished my dinner. I'm about to get ready for this event, but I thought, like, while I was eating dinner, I was listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast, Anything Goes, because I'm a huge fan, and she was, like, talking about, like, good habits, and I wanted to just share good habits that I learned about going to networking events while I'm getting ready. I'm not gonna wash my face, but I'm gonna dampen a towel with hot water. I feel like this is a great way to subtly, like, refresh, you know? What gives me a lot of comfort when I'm networking and stuff is when I can just be confident that I can be one person. I start to get overwhelmed in social events when I feel like I need to connect with everybody. Like the event I'm going to tonight has around like a thousand people. So it's not a small little party. I think it's important to really set a small goal of like, let me meet one person and I can leave. Like that's my mindset. Like if I don't meet one person, then I can leave. If I do meet one person, I can stay with them or leave. Like, I just have that small goal and I think it's super simple to meet one person and it's still scary, but it's a lot easier than meeting and forcing yourself to like be the life of the party and like meet everybody, you know? So I think that's my first step is just like set a small goal, whatever that looks like for you, do it. Even if it's just showing up, like if you're really anxious, you can even just set a goal of like, I'm not gonna meet someone, but I'm just gonna go. Okay, so I am moving locations because I felt like the bathroom was way too echoey. Honestly, something that like really helps me like today. I reached out to a few friends like yesterday if they were going to this event with Polygon and Coinbase, which is the one I'm going to tonight because I was afraid to have like a moment like right now where I'm like, holy shit, like I don't know anybody. What do I do? Do I go or do I not? And because I did some outreach yesterday, I do know like one or two people and I'm meeting up with them. If you're going to an event and you really don't know anyone, bring a friend. You know, this requires you to like reach out to people the day before and it really works. And I mean, I'm seeing my friend Philippe. He's from Launch House, which is a, a web three crypto incubator type thing um, for like crypto projects. Launch House is great. It's an amazing community, but I'm meeting up with him because I don't know anyone else. So yeah. And if you guys are curious, does this work if you're like reaching out to strangers? Yes, like I know Philippe because I met him through Launch House, but you can do this to literally anybody. Like, trust me, especially if you're going to a business event, if you reach out to someone, even if you don't know them, like a day or three prior, and you're like, hey, I'm going to this event, would love to meet up with you then. This is who I am, this is what I do. Most likely, if you are doing something relevant in the space, they will meet up with you, you know? And I feel like that's such a great option for people who are really, really anxious. Just like put an effort to reach out to five people and see if one responds. Because most likely not everyone will respond, but one will. My next 
idea slash tip if you're going out to an event and you feel anxious and you really don't want to go but you know you should go is give like a backup plan sometimes i will literally plan instagram photo shoots after an event just in case like if i hey listen if i can't go to an event but at least i can get a cute instagram outfit pick the night was a success that's what i would do i would either set up a dinner like after with a friend make a youtube video make a tiktok that right there i feel like saves the night not even sure if i'm running late see my friend Philippe. I put my phone in the other room so I could record this video and I don't know if he's like Jade what the fuck are you because <laughs> everyone's already at the event. I'm just still <laughs> in my hotel room getting ready because I want to again like have a reason to go. A cute Instagram selfie. Um, I've been really into this lipstick as blush. It's by M Cosmetics. I'm not a beauty channel but I will recommend something if something's really good and this is such a good lip product but I like it even better as a blush. Okay, so update. I just got a text message that all my friends I was going to meet up with are, like, in different places. Like, I don't even know if anyone's going to be at the event at the same time. Because everyone's there right now. Like, <laughs> I might not actually see my friends. So I might actually have a full-on episode where, like, I might just have one of those things where I show up, take an Instagram photo, and, like, leave. So, um, moral of the story is, if it's just a night where I'm showing, I'm okay with that. It's just kind of funny. It all works. I finished my makeup. Wait, <laughs> not too shabby. I'm um, doing my hair right now. I'm gonna show you how I do it. This tool is incredible. It's a Dyson Airwrap. I just hold it like that. I let it go. Literally, look at that! Look at that! Yeah, it's the best tool in the world. I just, I do only like a few strands and it just looks so good. I just got dressed. This is the final hair. I decided to put my hair up. I just feel like it looks better with the outfit. This is the dress. I'm gonna be wearing a coat because I'm in Denver and it's really cold. And then I'm gonna put on my boots. This is my outfit. We got my shoes. These are the Princess Polly loafers. My socks are literally mixed match, but I don't really care. And then, yeah, I don't know if this dress is too short. It's like, I keep it up, like pull it down, but who knows? I might not be out for very long or I might be out all night. We'll see where the night takes us. <laughs> see you guys when I'm at the event. Good morning, everybody. Last night was crazy. No, um, I went out for like just a few hours. Honestly, I was not expecting to meet so many friends. You guys saw, but my friend Drake, who is the guy to the left of the first clip, um, I met up with him because I knew I needed to meet up with someone, like at least one person, right? That was my first tip. And I met with, up with him and I met another friend named Tim. Tim invited us to another event where we were just talking about our projects and like drinking and having a good time. It was really fun. And honestly, it just shows you like you just really need one friend and then like let the night take you. So we went to like a few other events. Like we went to like four parties. Um, I came back at like midnight because I didn't want to stay out too late because I have a presentation right now. So it's currently 9.40. I woke up like an hour ago and I am a little nervous because, hold up, someone told me my panel's not here. Okay guys, so my boyfriend just texted me that my panel is not even there. Basically on the agenda on their website, they didn't put my session there, which is supposed to be at 10.50, but they didn't put it on their website. So I'm gonna just show up and hopefully present because I literally flew out here to present. So yeah, I hope I make it because I if I don't, I flew out to Denver for no reason. And I really hope that's not the case. Um, I'm gonna go get ready really quickly because I'm gonna get out to the event right now. I have done a project that plants real trees into this NFTs. And my goal is just to bring climate impact to the world. <sighs> All right. Um, <laughs> I look like this because I just was crying for like two hours. My presentation went really well. Like I got interviewed after by this documentary and a bunch of people were just like loving the NF tree project I'm working on. But I just had some personal issues. But I have another presentation to go to in about an hour and I don't feel like doing it. So um, we're just gonna get ready together. I feel like this whole trip has been such a whirlwind of emotions. Overall, it's been pretty positive, but I would be lying if I said that I'm right now not doing the best. <laughs>
Okay, I think the first thing I'm gonna do to fix the tears in my makeup is <laughs> just touch it up a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of powder. I <laughs> like how this video is becoming how to like look normal after a mental breakdown. I mean, I don't look that bad actually. Surprisingly, for a mental breakdown, I don't look that bad. I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder to fix up the areas that are like tears got in the way and just gonna use this brush. This has been a day. I can't wait to go to bed tonight. There's like a bunch of parties actually today and I just, I don't know if I have it in me. Like I wanna be social and stuff, but I'm gonna see how the night goes. Just take it easy because I am just not mentally stable right now. <laughs> this is actually looking pretty good. Conferences are hard. And if you don't feel like being social because you're on the brink of a mental breakdown, it's okay not to socialize. <laughs> I decided to get out of bed today and continue whatever I had planned just because I feel better. If I wasn't feeling better, I don't think I would have gone out. And that's okay, like, it is a-okay. <laughs> Honestly, something that I did learn on this trip, which I didn't think I was going to know, is how waterproof my makeup is. <laughs> it's really mental breakdown proof. Like, I look pretty good for having like a full on like panic attack. Like doing my makeup is very therapeutic for me. And I don't see my therapist till next week. So I need all the therapy I could get. And that's a-okay. Yeah, this is kind of weird, but I, I do put brow pencil in my lips. See, I know that looks weird, but trust me, it is the best lip contour I've ever done. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 